Body and mind are very, very much connected together. And uh, if you, the more you can relax your body, the more you can relax your mind. The more you can relax your mind, the more you relax your body. You know, it's interdependent. So therefore, you, you relax your body and relax your mind. And then, you know, a little bit like, um, uh, like something like, uh, there are many different ways, you know, it's not one way, it's, it's according to the, each person's needs and each person's way, it, it can be slightly different. But say like breathing, breathing is something that is happening all the time. We cannot do without breathing, so all of us are breathing. So I would like sit down, very relaxed, body, mind, and then. And mind relaxing means that I'm not thinking about the past. I'm not thinking too much about the future, you know. It's not saying that you never think about the past and the future. I'm saying only when you are meditating, you don't. <laughs> because if you're thinking of the past, then you are very, very busy, you know. And that's what our habitual tendency is. This happened, that happened, this should have happened, this should not have happened. Somebody did that, somebody said that, somebody, you know, why, why is saying, you know, and then we all the problem, you know? we, we get depression because of that. Uh, so then, not thinking about the future, because then we have, you know, it should be like this, can I do like this, not like this? Then, if I do, maybe it will not happen like that. Maybe <laughs> it will happen. So, lots of worries come, you know. So, so depression, worry, you know, uh, all kind of hurt feelings of the past, you know. All this is what is occupying our mind all the time. So, therefore, we need to kind of uh, free ourselves from there. So, just, and how to... How to do that? It's very difficult. Because our mind is always either of the past or the future. So therefore, that's our usual habit. So, how can we free ourselves from that? How can we relax our mind from there? By putting the focus of our mind something in the present moment, just now. So, like breathing is happening now. You know, I'm breathing out now. I can't do without breathing. So, I focus my mind on breathing. But not thinking about breathing, but feeling about breathing. And thinking and feeling are different. You know. Thinking is like, like a running commentary. You know, now I'm breathing out. Now I am breathing in. Now this breathing may be not good. This breathing is too short. You know, and there's lots of sound in this breathing. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe he's breathing better than I. She is breathing. Uh, like, <laughs> it's not, that is not, that's another, another, you know, lots of, what we try to do is just, you know, just become aware of the sensation of breathing. Just the sensation of breathing in, breathing out. Just slightly aware of that and nothing else. So when we can, we can do that, we can do a little bit that, then what is happening is that we are relaxing. We are not too much in the past, not too much in the future. So therefore my mind can really relax. Because it is, and also aware, aware of the present moment. It's relaxed. It's not distracted. It's not running all over the world. You know? uh, so therefore, the little bit more we can do that, a little bit more, we really allow ourselves to be. Usually, you know, we kind of live in the past or future. What happened 
what happened, all the past things. You know, we kind of, our mind is always either in the past and living in the past, or thinking about the future and living in the future. But actually, past is gone. It's just memory. Future is not there. It's just thinking, thought. And uh, what we really, you know, how we really live our li life is this moment, you know, this now. And we most of the time forget to live at this moment. We just, we don't, uh, we are not aware of what's going on now. No? What's what I see now, what I hear now, what I sense now, you know, almost not sometimes, you know. The, what is in front of me at the moment, sometimes I don't see. I only think about the past and the future, so therefore, you know, that's mindless, not mindful. That's it. So when I am only aware of what is now, you know, what I hear now, what I see now, what I sense now, and that also this moment, then this moment, then this moment. You know, I can slowly get a full, you know, real kind of um, peace of my mind. You know, undisturbed, undisturbed experience of my mind. When we feel that undisturbed present moment that I actually truly living, because this is the moment I truly live, I start to actually see myself much more clearly and start to feel myself much more clearly. So therefore, my mind be can become much more calm and much more, because now it's, I'm just in this, you know, I am directly in contact with what I am now. Not always kind of in a will wind. Uh, so, this is the way to train our mind. This is the way to train our mind. This is the way to, you know, uh, to make our mind much more, what can you say, uh, tamed and present and, and uh, undisturbed and peaceful and free and, sense, you know, uh, more kind of um, together. Uh, really the present. Uh, that's why sometimes, you know, uh, in English, sometimes they say this, uh, uh, past is memory, future is mystery, present is a gift. That's why you call it present. 